Pathologists are indispensable to the operation of our medical system, but who are they and what do they actually do? Professor John Rasco is a haematologist with a major metropolitan hospital. In addition to lab work, Professor Rasco has a special focus on stem cell research. Haematology is the study of blood, basically in all its aspects. We study from the patient point of view, we are physicians typically, and then we take that blood and we study it all the way to the diagnostic and research laboratory to understand its functioning and in particular to understand its pathology when things go abnormal. Good morning Nick, how are you? I myself am involved in the bench to the bedside philosophy of haematology. We're going to do that quite soon. That's to say that I see patients on a regular basis. I also uh, am involved in diagnostic pathology and at the very research end of haematopathology, I, I undertake basic biomedical research in blood disorders. It is somewhat unusual to be as heavily involved in research as I am, although that's where I find the, the appropriate balance for me. We've been involved in many aspects of the development of recent uh, discoveries in Australia involving blood hormones, in particular ones that stimulate platelet production, or the revolutionary work that came out of Australia involving uh, white blood cell stimulation, the GCSF and GMCSF story that really revolutionised our ability to deliver bone marrow transplantation and has saved hundreds of thousands of lives over the last few decades. This machine is called a fluorescence activated cell sorter. What it does is quite straightforward. So what we can do is take a sample of blood and everybody looks at it in the tube and goes, gee, that's just a red fluid. But in fact, it comprises many, many different types of cells. And the closer we look, the more we find that there are different cells in, in, in populations that we thought were all the same. This technology is capable of separating out those cells so that we can study them under the microscope and in the laboratory to understand their function. Modern management of cancers of the blood, including leukaemia, multiple myeloma and lymphoma, demands access to this expensive but necessary technology. Following high school, Professor Rasco studied for five years to receive his Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, during which time he also received his Bachelor of Science in Medicine. He then spent six years as an intern, registered medical officer and registrar before receiving his fellowship in pathology, specifically haematology, and his physician's fellowship. Professor Rasco then went on over three years to complete a PhD and a further three years to receive his postdoctoral fellowship. Long ago during my training I decided that the best way that I could contribute to humanity if you will uh, was to do research and therefore affect not just the patients that I was seeing on a day-to-day -day basis which is limited by the number of hours in the day but actually try and contribute to changes in medical management through discoveries in basic research and then the development of those technologies so that not just everybody you see on a day-to-day -day basis is benefited but everyone for the future uh, receives a benefit if you indeed develop a new technology. Pathologists generally play a very wide role and are actually involved in diagnosing almost 70% of disease and work across a range of different specialities. These include anatomical pathology, the study of disease through tissue, forensic pathology which seeks to investigate and define the cause of unexpected death, Chemical pathology, which deals with the entire range of disease and encompasses detecting changes in a number of substances in blood and body fluids, such as electrolytes, enzymes and proteins. Genetics, which looks at chromosomes and DNA from cells to diagnose genetic diseases. Immunopathology, which looks at allergic reactions, autoimmune disorders, such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis and thyroid conditions. Microbiology, which deals with diseases caused by infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites, and general pathology, which covers the profession as a whole. I skip to work every day thrilled knowing that one day hopefully some of our discoveries will make a difference to some people in the world, but at the same time we're contributing to education of new pathologists, new scientists as we, uh, as we supervise their PhDs and postgraduate training, and so as an umbrella, uh, haematopathology and pathology in general is a very, very rewarding career.